What's up guys, GG4X here and on today's video I'm going to be talking to you about the importance of risk management because a couple days ago I went over my risk management system and I'll leave a link to that video down below, right? But I want to show you how I've implemented it into my trades this week and show you the importance of how it how important it is to have a risk management system in place that you follow, that you stick to your rules, that you don't just adjust. Because I'm going to show you now, I've had a really good week, but I want to show you of how it could have been bad if I didn't follow my system and how you could look at some outcomes and realize, oh, if I'd done this, this could have happened, or if I didn't do that, this could have happened. But then you really need to realize that you don't control the outcome. The only thing you can control is your emotions sticking to your plan and trusting the system that you have put in place because it will save your butt more times than not, right? So what we're gonna do now, I'm gonna jump in the charts and show exactly what I mean because this week has been my most successful week yet and it is, things are clicking and it feels good and when I leave my job and I have more time then I do the Fit 70K challenge. I'm very excited guys and you'll see exactly why. Okay guys, hope you can see me in the corner. So we are, I'm going to go over um, CAD Swiss, CAD J, and I'm going to go over EJ, GJ, and uh, EC, I believe. I'll just go over EC. Yes. Um, yes, those, those trades in the moment, right? So right now I'm in your notes. I'm going to start with CAD Swiss to begin with. Because I went in on two uh, different targets on this one. One was a bit more risky, um, <clears throat> and the other one was a bit more adventurous, but still sticking to my plan. But I want to show you how my risk management system um, really helped with me not caring about what happened next. Because the hardest thing, well, a lot of people will say in the GG Forex group is you find it hard to hold trades and mess with your emotions along your in trades. And this system kind of like gets rid of all of those issues, helps you not care about the end result, and just makes you play your plan in a systemized manner, right? And this is what I mean by this, right? So I was coming into this trade, I believe it was on the 10 minute time frame, right? And I entered in, <coughs> in this area here, okay? Why? because this area made these targets in a high time frame point of interest and I believe price was distributing to the downside. So if I zoom out, right, you can clearly see, if I bring that down, you see price lagging up, you see RSI coming down and you've got clear equal lows on both sides, right? This is what I was targeting, this is what I was seeing. So. What would have happened if I put my risk management system in place? Now my one is whatever my target is. So this is a one to two and a half, right? So my target is just halfway. Now some people have different rules. One's probably gonna be breaker structure. One's gonna be, um, it doesn't matter if it gets halfway, I'll take partials off and leave my stop loss where it is. There's different ways you can play this system and you just need to choose the one that best suits you Place your strengths, obviously if you've got weak um, mindset, you might want to move your stop loss to break even. Some people are uncomfortable with leaving their stop loss open and a bunch of different reasons like that, okay? So with my system, I like to have my stop loss move to break even when I'm in a funded account or doing a challenge. If it's a private account, I'm quite happy just leaving my stop loss where it is and whatever happens, happens, okay? So you need to play it. Can you afford to lose that risk on your account? If you've only got 10% to go, can you afford to lose this 1% on when you need to get 10% of the challenge, right? So there's different things you need to tweak to your plan to use this system to best suit your needs, if that makes sense, right? So for me, my system, when I'm doing a challenge now, would be I'm in the trade, and as soon as it goes halfway towards my position, whether that be a one to three, one to two, one to four, whatever, I will take half my position off and then move my stop loss to break even. So if you have a look at what happened here, I'll hide this for a second and then I'll just go back so it's easier to see what was actually happening. So I was aiming for this TP down here and this TP down there, okay? So 
what actually happened here price came up came down halfway then came back and stopped me out right but then eventually came down and then hit my tp for the whole move of what i wanted so dependent on what you set your parameters at for your own trading plan you either had the choice of one moving your stop loss to break even after it got halfway whilst taking half your position off or you could have just left your stop loss where it was played it out and if the price came back and stopped you out you would still be up by 0 0.25 or whatever the risk was you'd still be up because you've actually taken off more than what you risked okay and the fact that <clears throat> price can come down and do the full amount and then you get the full trade or whatever it is okay so you get the half on and then you get the other half on after that so <clears throat> the likelihood of this working out for me was price came halfway because if i'm doing 25 pips let's say price only needs to move 12 okay so it went what was it uh 2.5 so we're looking for 1.25 rr which was here okay so price came in came down i would have taken half off stop loss would have been moved to break even i would have got stopped out i would have made half a percent on this trade would i would i have made half percent no i would have made one point zero point six two roughly zero point six two percent let me just do the account i'll write it down and i'll add them up and i'll show you the power of this because you think oh you're leaving a lot of money on the table or you could didn't get the whole move, but just trust me, when I do the sums, it does make a lot of sense. So we took um, half off and it did did half of the move. So 1.25, so 0.5 times 1.25 the move. So we're looking at 0.6R for this, okay? So let me just write this down so you can actually see it. 6RR. For that trade make it bigger so you can see the hell's going on go plus as well so this trade was 0.6 rr but it actually did the full move eventually again you ought to tweak it for your plan i'm just going to show you mine right and there was another trade in here where i did exactly the same entry exactly the same stop loss okay um but different tp so i'm going to show you how this would have saved saved you as well so i was going from roughly a one to four and a half and it's slightly higher maybe above these lows one to four and a half right so technically i'm still in trade but if i'm sticking to the same rules like i was going to do price came in then came down right for half of for half of the move right so i'm going from one to four i'm looking for one to two which is wherever that was, one to two, which is here. So price came in, actually up here. So if I move it across, same TP. So price came in for one to, came in, came down for one to two, then came back, stopped me out, right? So that would have been a 1% gain, right? So now we've got plus one R, right? Plus one R R. Okay, so these two trades, they've played out. I could, I might get more, I might not. But what I'm saying is I'm sticking to my plan. I'm sticking to my system that I've put in place that has saved me. Now, you, as I said, you can play it two different ways. You can just leave your stop loss where it is, take the risk. If it stops you out, you're still going to make 0.25%. If it doesn't, and doesn't come back and stop you out of break even, or if it goes through, it doesn't matter. Okay, you need to play it out. How you want to play it out if that makes sense it's got to best suit your needs as i said on a personal account i wouldn't bother moving my stop loss because i don't really need to stick to a strict rules requirement um but with if you do ftmo or any other funded challenge you might want to have a stricter rule and just play it extra safe yes you might stop yourself out of the bigger move but you're still making money from that trade but you're just being extra safe especially when you have rules to meet um is what I found has saved me a long time, right? So from these two trades, we're up 1.6%. Not great, but not bad. It adds up, okay? Now let's go to a different trade, right? Sticking to the same system. And this is why it's super important to follow the system and not just pick and choose when you want to use it, right? So I was getting in and I'll trade up here. Why? Because this trade made these equals. I was expecting price to retest it, okay? 
is in a higher time frame point of interest. And this is why it is super important to follow the system, right? So I was going for a one to two on this, or one to 2.4, so I'm looking for a 1.2%. So I would have taken half off at that level. So we've got 1.2, okay? Price came in, came down, half would have came off and then I would have moved to break even. So 1.2, so I would have taken off half a percent of that trade, right? So, oh, my bad. So, one, one of the massive pads, so 0.5 times 1.2, cool. So 0.6R on this as well, right? So, 0.6 RR return. What's that plus? Uh, plus. Okay, so that one was 0.6 R. And if you're wondering, did George have a hat on a couple of seconds ago? The answer is no. I got annoyed with the fluffy hair, okay? So this one, uh, this trade, um, see, system in place. Why do I have the system in place? Because you can't control the outcome. No matter what you think and no matter what you want to happen, you do not control the outcome. So by me having this system in place, it's just saved me from this trade. Now what I will do is I will um, do like what could have gone wrong, if that makes sense. If I actually add up, if I just left everything without using my system at all and then see what would happen afterwards, okay? Um, so that was uh, CAD Swiss, that was CAD Yen, and now I'm gonna go through EJ and GJ as well. So EJ was a good trade. Now all these trades are put in the GG Forex group, so if you haven't joined it already, I haven't actually seen my GJ breakdown trade, that is in the, just, link down below and you can join that and all that stuff okay so ej came in high time frame point of interest i was going for a one to four so i would have checked halfway so one to two now this one works out slightly different right so one to two so i would have made one percent off this trade then i would have moved to break even and then i would have just let the uh, trade play out so this went to a one to two or halfway straight away and then went straight down for a one to four. So by me taking half off, I get half at one to two, so that's one percent. And then technically I did half at one to four, so that's two percent. So overall I made three percent on this trade, right? So yes, the, the system is there, and when it happens, you wouldn't make as much as if you just left out, but Overall, over a select amount of trades, I have found that this has saved my butt more times than it hasn't. Hence why I've put this risk management system into place, right? I'd rather protect, remember, it's not about making the most money, it's about protecting your capital. Okay, so let me just add this down so we add it up at the end. So this was plus three RR. Just get rid of, God damn it. Get rid of text. So that was a plus three RR. Right, and let's go to GJ. Where was it? Down here. Okay, this was a good little trade actually. So GJ, I think it's 15 minute this trade was on. Oh, five minute. I think it's a five minute trade. Where did it go? There it is. <clears throat> nice five minute trade. Uh, what was I going for? I was going for a 1 to 2.6. So I'm looking for a 1 to 3 for halfway. 1.3. So price came in, came down, took half off, moved to break even. Obviously, price didn't come back to stop me out and then continued to downside, giving me a 1 to. So 1 to 3. So let's do the mass on this. So it would have been 0.5 times 1.3 so I would have made 0 0.65 and then what's the overall move two point I think it's 2.6 overall so it would have made sense there 2.6 I should do 2.6 um 2.6 is half what so it'd be 1.3 plus 0 0.65 
1.65. So overall, we made 1.95 RR on this trade. Okay, so text. One point nine five R uh -uh. let's do plus plus. Okay, so one point nine five R uh R. -uh. <clears throat> now all these trades happen relatively well, I think it was within the last week. Um Monday, Tuesday, today, I think one may have been Friday. Oh there's one more on pound cad if I remember correctly. If I remember that correctly. Somewhere down here. I know it's a one hour time frame, I believe. Just zoom out. Weekly time frame. Yeah, that's it. It's down here. I remember going over it. Uh, da -da. It was there. It's in the GG Forex group only, so I can use that for reference. But it's roughly that. I think again, that was a one to three I was going for just below the highs because you know what I'm like. I like my one to threes, they seem to work for me, it just makes the most sense. So, again, this was a one to three on the move, so I would have got 0 0.75 plus uh, the rest of the move, so it'd be 2.25 percent total RR. Did that correctly off the top of my head because the price obviously. It went to zero. Well, it took half off at 1.5, and then it took the rest of it at 1.3. So one would have made 1.5%, the other would have made 0.75%. So overall, 2.25% RR. Right, so if I go back through these trades and add them up and see what I would have got the safe way, which is what I've got the safe way, or if I just let price do what it does and see if I would have made more or less, right? So this is good. Obviously, people are going to read this in different ways. Some people are going to say just trust the process like I do. But again, it depends what situation you're in. Are you in a challenge? Can you afford to take that risk? If it's a personal account and it doesn't matter if you lose 10 in a row, great don't bother moving the stop loss but if you are on a challenge and it does matter use this system because it will protect you more than not and also it help with your psychology because if you see price moving down getting close to your tp or whatever and then it just suddenly reverses and stops you out you're not mad you've already made money from that trade you put the hard work in you're a patient you've got great entry you've now taken money from the market you've now taken money from that trade you earned it okay so if price comes back and stops you out, you don't care because you've already got your piece of the pie from that move. And even though these are little pieces of the pie, they add up, right? So we got 2.25% on GC. So 2.25% on GC. Then what do we do after that? It was uh, GJ. Uh, it was up here somewhere for my little cell. Uh, Where did it go? Is that right? Let me just double check that one. Just double check. Yeah, it was. So 1.95 plus 0.95. I'll speed through this, guys, just so you don't have to wait for it. GJ now. Yeah, EJ. Because it saved me. We got 3% on EJ plus 3%. Now it's just uh, CJ and CAD J and CAD Swiss is the next ones. So what do they get off of that? 0 0.6, 0 0.6 plus, and then CAD Swiss, which was one, okay? Plus one. So the safe way for going over those trades using my system in place made us a total of 8.8 RR. Okay. Now that to me is a very good week. Okay. 8% a week, you would have almost passed the FTMO challenge. You would have been safe. Your risk, we protected your capital. Your emotions were in check. You didn't feel bad. Um, because you knew whatever happened, you've already made money from that trade, you're just protecting your capital, so you didn't really mind if price did do a big reversal. Um, ba, ba, ba. So 
there's 8.8 um, RR in total. I think it's total. I swear I'm missing one trade. I'm not missing one trade. I might have to check through the the GG Forex Facebook group a sec. Uh, EuroCAD, right? EuroCAD. I knew I was missing one. It was on EuroCAD, okay? So let me just have a look on EuroCAD and see where my system plays out, right? Okay? This is definitely one I missed. So let me just go back to the, the one hour time frame, which is why I took this off. See, I was in a weekly low, saw opportunities, uh, price create new highs. Now, it looks like this trade's gonna play out. It looks like the overall target's gonna happen, right? So this is what I mean, again, it's another recap over your psychology. Because if you saw price do this, you got scared, you'd think, oh no, price is reversing on me, right? But I'm going for a one to three here, okay? A one to three. Right, so at 1.5, I've already got half of the table, right? So it makes perfect sense. Its price adds this liquidity is a perfect TP1 on this, right? So that's 1.5 on this. So that's 0.75 bagged in the account. And then you see price coming down. It looks like, at the moment, it looks like it's made more equals to push to the upside and take more, right? But that hasn't happened yet. So I'm just going to assume that price came down and stopped this out. It hasn't, but I'm just gonna go for the worst case scenario, right? Just worst case because that's what YouTube likes. It loves worst case scenarios, right? So we're gonna add 0.75 to the total of our score, okay? So what was that one? That was on Cad Swiss, I believe it was. Yeah, so 0 0.75 on 8.8, .8, which is plus 0.75. So we're at 9.55% in total, okay? That's what we're gonna go for because those are the trades I have done this week, okay? Um, I've completely forgot, 9.55, RR, right? From those trades, by taking half off when price has gone halfway towards our TP, covering our stop loss, and letting the system play out. Even this one here looks like it's gonna play out and it hasn't even finished the move, okay? We've already taken half off and then we got stopped out, okay? But it depends where you wanna leave your stop loss. Do you want to, A, take your stop loss to break even when it's on half the move and you're taking half the position off the table? Or B, do you wanna leave the stop loss where it is and let price play out? And if it stops you out, instead of making half, you make 0.25. Or it could come down and hit your actual TP and you eventually make more um, on the move rather than being stopped out. For me, personally, if it's a personal account, I'll leave stop loss where it is and let price play out. When I'm in a funded account and I don't really want to take those risks because I haven't got the risk to play with, I'll move my stop loss to break even when price has done half of the move and whatever happens, happens. I don't care. I've already taken money from that trade. I've done the hard work and now I've got paid for it. That's how I think about it. Let me know in the comment box below what you think about it and how you would like to play the charts, okay? So, by doing it the safe way and going for worst case scenario, using the system on the current trades that I have done this week, right? 9.55 RR, right? So that is almost a pass on FTMO, playing it safely. Now you can go and follow in next week and be have a lot of cushion there just in case you had a bad week or whatever, but all you have to do then is have a little bit of the move go into your favor, move the break even, and by the time you've taken half of your position off the trade, you would have passed the challenge with that. I don't think I actually continue with this one. <laughs> I missed another trade as well, guys. It was AC, right? I missed another trade this week. It was AC, but again, I'm not going to include it, but we would have passed the FTMO challenge easily because as you can see, it would have got another 2.75% on that by taking half off at halfway and then letting the price take out after we move the break even. As you can see, that would have worked perfectly. Again, actually, I'm just going to add it to the score. So it <laughs> would have been 11.8% in total. So guys, that's my risk management system put in place for you to see what, how would you play it? Would you have your keep your stop loss where it is? Would you move to break even when it hit halfway? Or would you just leave it and whatever happens, happens, right? If I just left it and whatever happens, happens and I didn't take money out of the market, would I have made more, would I have not? I don't know, it's different. But what I found out in the long run, that was just a few samples, right? Of what I've done this week, right? But if I play it out in the long run, taking profit at halfway, taking half off, right? Taking half of my position off, letting the other half run, 
but covering my stop loss to break even, that has saved me. If I've done that, I would have passed many more challenges. I've passed it three times now, and I would have passed it a lot more. It's a way of turning a losing trade into a winning trade. You've done the hard work, you've been patient, you've waited for the right area, you've got the right entry, now, how do you manage that trade? It's not just setting a trade and letting whatever happens, happens. There's certain stages you need to master. There's certain mindsets you need to master during that trade. There's certain things you have to do to make the most out of that trade, okay? So for me, the best way i found is by taking half of my position off when it does half the move, letting it go to, letting my stop loss go to break even, then I don't care. I've already made my chunk out the market. It's paid me, it's in my back pocket now. I haven't got to worry about anything. If price comes back up, stops me out, I don't care, I've made money. But if I let price play out and I knew I could have taken money off the table and I didn't for whatever reason and I lost, then it pays my psychology, then I mess with my head. Uh, mindset then I start making silly decisions down the line it's like a rolling domino effect but from the system being in place it stops me thinking those thoughts because I'm trading the plan systematically sticking to my rules and taking consistent trades and from that that's why I love it let me know what you guys think down below. Let me know how you would play it. How do you play it? Do you leave your stop loss where it is? Do you move it to break even? Or do you just not do anything at all and just let it play out? What do you find the most success with? I'm interested down below. And don't forget guys, all of those trades were in a GG Forex group. The link is down below. And I have done a more in-depth version of this risk management system before. How to, I think it's called um, how to turn your losers into winners. So check that video out. If I remember, the link will be down below as well. But that's it, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Love you all. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.